Halo Infinite has been delayed until 2020. Now, the biggest question we're all wondering is when is this game going to be released? We can give a solid estimate when can we expect the game to be released. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you our news and informational video when it comes to the Halo. If you like these news and informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the video and channel so more people, people get to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. So just the other day, we got some sad news that Halo Infinite will be delayed until 2021, but 343 did not specify when in 2021, we can expect Halo Infinite to be released. After watching the gameplay demo, you can definitely tell that this game would deserve some more time in the oven to make sure that when the release does come around, that it's a proper game that we can all experience and enjoy thoroughly. Though there have been two major games that have, have suffered delays due to COVID, which is one of the sources that they cited for the reasons why they're delaying Halo Infinite. And those two games were Cyberpunk and The Last of Us 2. So what we're gonna do in this video is analyze their delays and see what kept them from releasing the game on their initial release dates when did they release soon after their announcements of delays? And how was their product when they released? Obviously at the time of making this video, Cyberpunk has not been released, but we've gotten a lot of information, some good gameplay and a lot of detail and some very positive reviews about the gameplay that people have had so far. Last of Us 2, a little bit of a different story. So let's get right into it. So let's start with The Last of Us 2, which is the most recent game that has released that did cite COVID as reasons for delaying the game. Now, obviously there are complaints about the story and some of the gameplay elements of it but for the most part i feel like it's a rather fully realized version of the game it didn't seem like there was much that was cut or anything that was kind of missing from that game due to covid and delays when it comes to development i mean yeah story's not that great kind of convoluted not the best way to tell a story um, but the visuals are fantastic the gameplay is smooth very little amount of glitches and bugs and things like that involved with the game i think people are just mainly not happy with the story with that game so the last of us 2 was delayed two times before the release of the game itself. As you can see right here, their initial release date was originally supposed to be February 21st of 2020. Now, obviously we did not receive that. They actually delayed it till May of that same year of 2020. And then on top of that, they delayed it again another month for the eventual release of June 2019. So if you count the month of February, that is a five month delay when it comes to releasing the game due to COVID-19. Another very important game that had issues when it comes to COVID-19 and its development cycle was Cyberpunk. Originally, the game was actually supposed to come out in April 16th of 2020. Obviously, we're way past that date. That was peak COVID during that time, and they had to delay the game. They delayed it until September, and then later on, they released another statement in the month of June saying they were going to be delaying from September till November. They basically stated in, in this update, which is actually very, rather informative, I'm glad they went into this much detail, saying how the game content-wise is all there. They're just working on ways to kind of interconnect things together, working on a few systems, but like the story and the gameplay and everything else is pretty much solidified and good to go. So obviously these games are very different compared to what Halo Infinite is going to be. Halo Infinite has a lot of needs that it needs to accomplish for it to be a successful game. It needs to have an excellent like competitive multiplayer, excellent just fun social multiplayer on top of that as well, which is difficult in itself. An excellent campaign that's the most ambitious, bit largest campaign we've ever seen in a Halo game. We have Forge, we have Theater, we have probably some new social features that we haven't been revealed yet. We have new game modes that probably haven't been revealed yet. Like there's so much we still don't know about Halo Infinite. So I'm not saying that Infinite is a bigger game. It has much more things. I'm saying that there's a lot of other things on top of Halo Infinite beyond just being a good single player campaign experience that I was almost very surprised that we would receive Halo Infinite this year due to COVID-19 and other issues. Now I do know that uh, Unishike on a community post stated back in I believe like in April or March somewhere around there stated how they were all hitting their marks and I believe him at that time too. But obviously a few months have passed things have changed going from in the studio to at home working is very difficult. I've been working from home since March and I recently got a new position trying to learn a new position or do learn and do new things while 
out of the office and trying to do it over a call is very difficult. So essentially, when can we expect Halo Infinite to be released to the public. I saw a tweet from Hidden Xperia, got a pretty much 50-50 vote when it came to when would you expect Halo Infinite to be released, spring, kind of March time, or in the fall of 2021. Oftentimes we do see games released in the month of March as it's a good amount of time after the holiday season that kind of subsides we have a nice little like dip in sales and now march is a great time to have that i know the mass effect series one through three really lived and thrived within that march release time frame and many many other games do get released within the month of march sometimes games release in the month of april to have a very strong quarter start as well now judging how cyberpunk had about a six month delay and so did uh, Last of Us 2 had about a five month delay when it comes to their releases. I would expect something similar with Halo Infinite as I'm assuming that pretty much the story elements, the game elements and things like that are pretty much set in stone right now for the game. And I think right now they're just kind of work on the polish like we, that we we're complaining about mostly when it comes to that gameplay trailer that we saw. Like the gameplay looked great, but like the visuals, uh, the lighting just did not look very good. It didn't, it needs some more time, you know, and it's so I'm glad to see that Microsoft and 343 are doing that. But ultimately, when can you expect a release of Halo Infinite? I would say March is probably would be the main goal comparing it to what we've seen for Cyberpunk and Last of Us 2 for their delays because of COVID and what Infinite's been experiencing with their delays as well. I wouldn't expect anything much later than spring. If we don't hit that spring deadline, then absolutely hit in that fall, probably October, November timeframe as well, which I don't even want to think about an October, November release. I just don't want to think about that. I'm going to be optimistic. I'm saying a March, April release. I'm really hoping for that. But let me know in the comment section down below, do you guys have your own theories of when Halo Infinite will be released to the public? I have mine. It's stated in here, but I want to see what you guys have to say as well. So leave in a comment section down below. If you guys like these kind of videos and want to see some more like them, check out the videos on the screen right over here if you miss any content from me recently if you've been out of loop for the last few days or so so thank you so much for watching greatly appreciate it and i'll catch you all in the next video peace out